Hello guys, my name is Guillaume and welcome to a new episode of Hit The Tone. What's up guys, I hope you're all doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Head the Tone on Thomas Guitars and Basses. If you're new around here, I'll put the whole playlist for you right in the description box down below so you can check out the other episodes. But basically what I do is take bits of famous songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. The other cool thing about this is that you get to choose what song I'm covering next, just put it in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as I can. And since you're already down there, I mean why not liking the video and subscribing to the channel, you know, that, that, that would be cool. And with Without further ado, let's start with today's song, which is Anomaly by Incubus. All right, this song is of the album Light Grenades, which is the five, album number five, album number six, whichever. It's the first one that I actually got into my hands when I was a, I was a young, uh, young guitar player, aspiring guitar players. I think I wasn't even 10 yet. But Incubus is one of those bands that does a little bit of everything. But they do it so well, and they blend it all together so well. It's just like, it really quickly became one of my favorite bands. And this is one of my favorite songs because the guitar sound on it was mind-blowing to me. Whether it was the clean intro, whether it was that, that nasty, you feel like the guitar is gonna give up halfway through the main riff of it. Thankfully, I now have a clue, <laughs> a little bit of a clue as to how to get to that sound. So Mike, uh, stated several times that he used a Jazz Master, like a, a 63, I think? Jazz Master to record that album, but then went on to play a Thin Line Telecaster live throughout the entire tour because the Jazz Master was more of a studio thing for him. So, because I didn't have the right kind of Jazz Master at hand, I went with that Thin Line Telecaster, the Brit Dino signature, which is, I'm, it's really growing on me. I really like this guitar. And I'll be using it in the bridge position. And that guitar into the amp sounds like this. And that's it, that's pretty much the sound, but there's actually a lot more to it. So let's jump straight into our amp and pedal setup. I was kidding, I just wanted you guys to, to hang in there because literally for the intro, that's it. That's the guitar into this Fender Hot Rod Deluxe Tweed Edition. The controls will be on the screen. It is, it is definitely loud. It is very, very loud, but you need to push that kind of air to get these dynamics out of just the guitar into the amp. Otherwise, it's just gonna sound sort of dull and just uninteresting, I guess. But this is it, for the intro at least. Mike was using, I think, a combination of AC30s and Plexis in the studio in a blend that is still sort of unknown to mankind, I guess to the same extent as his pedal board is. We know what's on there, but we don't know what's on on which song, which is part of the myth as well. Then, for that dirt sound, he did state that he was using only amp distortion. I don't know how, I don't know how loud you could possibly put an AC30 and a Plexi to get that kind of result. I was planning on different pedals and most of them being quite expensive to be honest with you, but then it wasn't working out. And this one right there was literally just on the shelf as decoration. So why not? It says distortion on the box. How about could it be? This is the Grand Magus by uh, TC Electronic. That pedal is probably downwards of 40 euros at this moment, maybe even under 30 for what I know. These are extremely affordable. And yeah, it was just there, I tried and it worked. So, for that second riff, that second part to the intro, I'm gonna turn that pedal on and that's gonna take me there. <laughs> If you want links to anything that I'm using today, it'll be in the description box down below, by the way, as well as more recommendations. What you're looking for here is something that is almost fuzzy. It's 
almost a fuzz at this point. If you have the option of cranking an AC30 and a Plexi and blending them just the right way to get that sound, well, you're lucky first and uh, do it because apparently that's what was used. Then he went on to touring with Mesa Boogie amps and I think the dirt channel on these amps was that sound, was the, that gain sound, at least for the touring part. So that's an option as well. And visibly that, that pedal too. And with all that said, let's jump on to the final part of that video, which as usual is the most important and is how to play the song. We're gonna cut that explanation into two bits. What you want to know is you will be on the bridge position for both parts of the intro. The guitar is tuned in E standard and we're gonna start with the clean bit looking at our fretting hand. Obviously for that part, I guess you've noticed at this point that the fretting side is not the complicated side. Bar chords can be a little bit tricky if you're a beginner, but once you've got that down, once you've got your major and minor bar chord, you can take them absolutely anywhere and it's a lot of fun. And basically that's what's happening here. It's just a single, well, two shapes technically that are moving across the fretboard. But the difficulty in that intro resides in the picking side of it. Let's have a look. Yeah, so obviously the speed. It goes really, really fast. And there's some skipping, there's some, you know, room for creativity in there. You don't have to actually keep that going on for the entirety of it. There's some, you know, there's room for expression in there. But still, it's quite fast. So if you're not yet too comfortable with your picking side and your, your alternate you know, picking, because you can try to down pick that if you want. If you can, please send me a video. Hit me up on, you know, Instagram or whatever. Hunt me and show that I want to see that. But alternate picking is a very particular technique as well. And if you're beginning with guitar, that might be a little bit too fast for you. So obviously you can down the tempo on this intro and, you know, first get comfortable with the chord changes. And when that that is sort of covered and become become sort of automatic even, then you can focus on, you know, pumping up the speed on your fretting side. Let's now have a look at the dirty part of it and starting with the fretting side. Now there's a lot of misconceptions about that part of the riff, mostly because it sounds so big and people would tend to believe that these are, you know, big chords or bar chords still, uh, because there's so much to it. But really that comes down to the sound in itself and right now the pedal and the amp and the guitar and not really in the chord shapes because we're only fretting two strings at a time for the entirety of it. And as you're going to see in just a second, we're only going to pick two strings at a time as well. Let's have a look. It's still a little bit tricky in the sense that it's only downpicked and uh, that's a completely different exercise from the alternate picking that you had earlier and because there's so much gain there's it's really a big open door to a lot of noises. Uh, right now I'm having a lot of feedback because it's the same as hollow guitar and the amp is running super loud so it's probably you know not the best uh, combo but you want to make sure to be as clean as possible on the picking side because if you scrape, if you drag, if you just as much as turn a little bit too close to the amp you're gonna have a lot of feedback and noise issues in between these uh, these chords, these notes. And with that said, I think that's it guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Anomaly by Incubus. I really hope that you enjoyed that video. I hope that maybe you've learned something and if so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on the next ones because they very well could be your recommendations. Just put them in the comment section and I'll get to your song as soon as I can. In the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit the Tone.